Every time he tried to leave, there it was, parked in the way. The man, a mechanic, was frustrated. He left polite notes on the car's windshield, asking the owner to move it, but nothing changed. Day after day, the stranger's car was still there and the man couldn't use his very own parking spot. After a week of this, something snapped inside him. He realized that the nice notes weren't working and it was time for a new plan. Being a mechanic, he knew a lot about cars, so he came up with a brilliant idea. One Saturday afternoon, the mechanic called his friends over. They brought a special tool called a vehicle positioning jack. These jacks can lift a car off the ground and make it easy to move. Together, they attached the jacks to the rude driver's car, lifted it, and started pushing. Now, this wasn't just any simple push. The mechanic and his friends decided to move the stranger's car to a hidden corner of the parking lot behind a big concrete pillar where it would be hard to find. They squeezed the car into the tightest spot they could find. It was such a small space, the driver would have to go back and forth countless times to get the car out. They took pictures of the entire event and posted them online showing everyone what they had done. The clever mechanic had finally gotten his revenge in the most hilarious way. When the rude driver came back to his car, he was shocked. His car was stuck. He had to wiggle it back and forth over and over again just to get it out of the tiny spot. The best part? After that, the driver never parked in the mechanic's spot again. Many agree that the rude driver got what he deserved. The mechanic didn't hurt the car or break any laws, he just used his skills to solve the problem in a funny and smart way. And the best part? The mechanic finally got to use his very own parking space without any trouble. What can we learn from this? Sometimes you don't have to get angry or fight. With a little creativity and help from friends, you can solve problems in ways that make everyone laugh.